Welcome to Core Kind today for June 7th, 2023. This is the show where I break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of cord cutting right now, including Comcast's new $20 a month live TV streaming service is now live. Who has the most satisfied live TV streaming service customers? Sling TV, Hulu, YouTube TV, Fubo? We're gonna take a look at those and more. And more layoffs are hitting cable TV companies right now. We're gonna be diving all into all this and more here in a moment. First though, if you wanna learn more about these stories, check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment, I'll put a link to each story there so you can read about them for yourself and come up with your own opinions. I'll love to hear from you. It, also, if you wanna help us grow, you wanna help me support my family, just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families. I would really appreciate it. So. And hopefully, I should say, we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV. So with that said, let's dive into it. Starting off with Comcast has officially launched its $20 a month live TV service. Now, we reported a little over a week ago that it was available. Turned out it was available in a soft launch today, when I'm recording this tomorrow, or yesterday for everybody else watching this. Comcast officially launched the service. It's $20 a month. They now have upped the number from 40 plus channels to 60 plus channels. That's including some free um, ad supported channels and cable networks like AE, AMC content. Um, you also have stuff from Warner Brothers Discovery, the Hallmark channels, and more all streaming in there uh, with this package. Plus, you get Peacock Premium for free. Honestly, it's a pretty good package, but there's one big catch. You have to be a Comcast internet customer to get it, but if you are, and you've been considering something like a Friendly or maybe a Philo live TV streaming service and you're kind of on the border here. Do you want to get this? Do you want to do that? This may be something you want to try out. No long-term contracts, you add it through your Xfinity, Xfinity account. And for all it comes with, especially considering it includes Peacock Premium in it, it's not a bad deal, honestly. Though, it really comes down to, does it offer what you want? For me as a sports fan, no. But if you're not a sports fan, you don't care about sports, not a bad package for a ton of channels. Now, it does come with a 20-hour DVR um, feature and on-demand content with this. Um, there is one big catch, though. It is only available on select devices. Hopefully, more devices come. I can't believe they don't support Roku. I think that's a major miss. In our study show and other uh, studies have shown that Roku is the largest live TV or largest streaming player in America. One in three smart TVs are sold in the United States are Roku TVs. Not supporting it is a mess, but it is currently supported on uh, Xfinity Flex devices, uh, the their little streaming player, Fire TVs, iOS, Android power devices, and casting from um, Apple AirPlay and Google Chromecast. So you can to Roku cast if you have an iOS device through AirPlay, or you can add a Chromecast to it, for example, or pick up a Fire TV. But hopefully they add more device support soon. Apple TV, Roku, major miss by Comcast if they really want to get a uh, expanded market there. So let me know, anybody here actually subscribe to it and you want to test it out? I'd love to hear from you. All right, so who has the happiest live TV streaming service customers? Hulu Live TV, Sling TV, YouTube TV, or Direct TV Stream? Now, according to a study from ACSI, I apologize if that is has some way to say it, I don't know, but they released their 2022-2023 telecom um, communication study that looked at the um, satisfaction of uh, subscribers of live TV streaming services. And they only evaluated these four. They did not report numbers for Philo, Friendly, Vidgo, and Fubo. But Hulu with live TV was the happiest customers with an 80% happiness, Sling TV at 76, YouTube TV slot tied with Sling at 76, and Direct TV Stream came in fourth at 72. Not a huge difference between 72 and 80. I'd love to know, which live TV streaming service have you been most satisfied with? Not necessarily by maybe the channels, but by the app, by the customer service, by all those other things. Let's take price and let's take um, channels out. Which service have you enjoyed the most? I often hear sometimes people are like, hey, I actually prefer this app or prefer these features, but this service has the channels I want. So let me know, which one have you been happiest with overall? And does it surprise you that Hulu with Live TV is the number one service there, followed by Sling TV and YouTube TV tied with Direct TV Stream in fourth place? I am still very curious why Fubo was on this list, Vidgo, Friendly, Philo, but they did not include that in the report that they sent us to look at. 
So we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. If we get other numbers, we'll let you know. All right, more layoffs are coming to ESPN. ESPN has been hit by several rounds of layoffs now, and now we're getting reports that uh, more on-air talent this time are going to get cut. Recently, not that long ago, uh, ESPN cut a lot of talent behind the camera, a lot of behind-the-scenes staff, crews, office staff, and more. And now on-the-camera staff are getting cut. I think I heard that one of the big um, NHL contributors just got cut, which is kind of weird, right in the middle of the Stanley Cup. But it is what it is. I, I feel for them. Uh, I always hate hearing layoffs. Not unexpected. Uh, Disney has made it very clear that they are going to cut, uh, I think, 7,000 in total through a combination of not replacing open jobs and cutting jobs across all their divisions, TV, theme parks, movie studios, etc., will be facing cuts. So it's not a surprise that they are getting hot cut. It's just always sad when you see it. Reportedly, um, back in April, ESPN laid off 300 staff. We don't have a number yet of how many are getting laid off in this second round. There's been reports that there'll be three rounds, and we're now only in the second round of ESPN layoffs, which means later this year, we're probably going to see a third round of these. We'll let you know as we hear more, but look for even more layoffs to come. All right, if you're flying on Southwest, you may notice they have a new live TV provider. In the past, Southwest had partnered with Dish to offer live TV. Now, DirecTV is the official um, live TV partner of Southwest. And it's kind of an interesting little part here there in that they say, hey, you can get a collection of channels, including Fox, CNN, ESPN, and more for free, just like you always have. But they say if you pay for the $8 a month or $8 per flight, I should say, I'm used to saying by month, you will be able to log into your DirecTV or DirecTV Stream account and stream content. Southwest has done a good job improving the quality of their internet. A lot of airlines have, and honestly, I stream YouTube TV, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, all the different streaming services, Sling TV, on flights, both on Southwest, Delta, and American in the last couple years without issues. So the need to use their service is less if you're willing to pay. The benefit here is with the new DirecTV TV offerings on over a thousand Southwest um, planes now is that you don't need to pay for the internet service. You can watch their free live TV here uh, without needing to try to pay for the service. So not a bad deal here. If you're flying on Southwest, I know I do quite a bit. I started flying on them a lot more when we, when we lived in Texas and they had flights going everywhere out of Dallas, et cetera. But check it out. The, another option for live TV. Let me know, have you flown on a flight? Have you had the same experience with the internet that's not fast enough to stream many live TV services? Leave me a comment. Let me know. All right. The Writers Guild of America are still on strike, but the Directors Guild has reached an agreement with Hollywood Studios to avoid directors going on strike. Now, still very far from writers and Hollywood Studios to find a way to come to the middle. And honestly, I've said this before, uh, looking at the demands of both ends, both sides are going to have to give something here for that Writers Guild of America um, uh, strike to come to an end. There's got to be some middle ground. Until both sides are willing to find it, I think we're far from that coming to an end. But directors have reached a deal that will avoid a walkout with Hollywood Studios of directors. So directors are on staff, but no writers, which probably means more reality television show. I think I just saw Extreme Home Makeover is reportedly coming back. There's a lot of reports that reality TV will be dominating television this fall. We'll see how that all plays out. But check that out. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Are you worried about the flood of reality television? Or are you going to say, hey, I'm just going to go to Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and watch a bunch of stuff I've been thinking about if my favorite shows aren't coming back this fall? Leave me a comment. Let me know. All right, the Roku channel has added 18 new channels, including a Transformers channel, Power Rangers, and a ton of local news content. In total, there's 18 channels. These include some things like the local-ish, the celebrity name game channel, Mortar Trend, um, and more being added, including eight, I believe, local news channels added. Now, Roku has announced that they are building a huge hub for local live news that will stream through the Roku channel for you to be able to live and on-demand access local news. And they've added channels from Bay Area, Central California, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, New York, North Carolina, Houston, and Chicago went live. These are all ABC stations that went live on the Roku channel yesterday. So check that out. Link in the show notes if you want to see all those channels with that. But um, give it a little time. Sometimes when we announce new channels on a live TV service, they're, for example, on the website but not in the app, or they're in the app but not on the website, give it a little time. They'll roll out. 
And last story up of the day, Spotify has announced that they are cutting 200 positions. I always hate to see this. They're definitely facing a big drawback in the number of people um, and advertisers, number of people listening to all the podcasts out there and the number of advertisers going there. Now, I don't know how hard Spotify, which is actually right over my shoulder, has been hit by the kind of, I think, oversaturation of podcasts in the market. But I think as I've heard people tell me as an industry as a whole, there's that issue. The biggest issue, though, is advertisers are coming back spending across the board, websites, streaming services, and music services. So we'll see how this all plays out. 200 employees at Spotify have sadly lost their jobs. Well, that's it for today. I will see you all again real soon. Take care. Be safe. Have a fantastic day, everybody.